Hi there, Jesus Freak 77. Um, uh, no doubt you've been fairly inundated with uh, messages and stuff today. Uh, with regards to um, Venom Fang X, um, not just removing his website but his YouTube channel and all of that. And um, I just wanted to say that uh, I think it's very unfortunate that um, yet again. Um, Sean has been unable for his own reasons to present evidence of the fact that he believes these, these threats um, are coming to him from Muslims. Um, you can probably understand there are quite a lot of us out there who feel that this is just another one of his excuses um, and that the real reason that he's had to take down his site and so on uh, is because of the um, the fact that he was soliciting charitable donations despite that he wasn't a registered charity and that he, he, he wouldn't disclose how much he was going to be how much he was taking in um, and so it's probably rather more to do with legal advice that his parents have received on his behalf than, than any um, threat I'm not saying there isn't a threat I'm just saying that there's no evidence of a threat that we've seen thus far not that it's anything to do with me I'm just uh, observing from the outside as I have done for the past couple of years and I'm sure that even though you're his friend you must agree with me and a lot of other people out there who were saying that he had this coming um, he, he was warned on numerous occasions that he was he was he was sailing close to the wind as far as his legal position goes um, I mean, the whole thing where he launched a fraudulent DMCA claim against Thunderfoot was was kind of a demonstration of the fact that this guy's prepared to do whatever it takes in order to be proven right um, apart from present the evidence that he has to to as he as he says um, that, that he says proves that things like evolution and um, other uh, scientific methodologies for establishing fact from fiction are, are are fraudulent and from the devil and so on and so forth and um, I just I, I think that it's a real shame that he's had to because this guy is clearly driven by what he believes there's no doubting his conviction I think it's a real shame that he's um, he's, he's gone down um, an entirely inappropriate route towards um, broadcasting his beliefs um, and it's come and bit him big time and uh, you know I just hope that if these threats are real that um, that the, the law can protect his family because he's brought this down on them by just failing to show even the slightest bit of interest in, in genuine debate. I mean, there's absolutely zero intellectual honesty with him. Um, so, you know, I find it hard to feel sorry for him. Um, in fact, I don't feel sorry for him at all, but I think it's a real shame that it looks like he might have brought uh, f financial um, pressure on his parents to bail him out because you know if it turns out that he's broken some tax law by receiving uh, donations uh, then you know that that I mean he could be looking at a, he could be looking at jail time let alone a potentially hefty fine um, so perhaps he's a message he is he's an example to everyone out there who feels as if they want to celebrate their religion in the way that he did uh, to always make sure that you back up your claims with evidence. Uh, that's that's all myself and other atheist bloggers and, and video bloggers try and do. Uh, it's always a shame when someone gets their nose bloodied, but um, I, I have to say that uh, you know you, you can't go around saying some of the things that he said uh, and expect to get away with it forever. I mean that that video clip that he made. Um, where he was interviewing the Muslim guys in the street and putting captions up on the screen, ridiculing them, was just totally unacceptable. And then he has the balls to print a message on you know, his final posting saying he was sorry if he offended anyone. You don't make video clips like that without knowing that you are deliberately offending as many people as you can. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's only got himself to blame for that. He, he's had a big wake-up call. And uh, I can only add my voice to that of other YouTubers out there who were saying that it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. So, anyway, um, I'm sure you won't pass any of these messages on to him. Uh, 
it probably, you know, it's probably the last thing he wants to hear right now anyway. Um, he's, he's never shown any interest in the truth before, so I don't see why he's going to start now. But, um, you know, thanks for listening to what I have to say, and, uh, and that's the way I feel about it. Peace.